And look at that, you get a four pack, okay? Set of four, got some yellow trimming for your chair, you know, protect your booty. <laughs> um, they're gonna be $30, okay. It looks like it fell from here. Somebody didn't put it back. I'm gonna see if I can squish it in there. Maybe not. Oh, I did it! <laughs> okay, two pack indoor, outdoor. Let's see, you know what? This one is gonna be 19. Okay, a lot of gray. We do have that green. Oh, 20, okay. That's kind of nice for outside, right? Two pack is gonna be 20. I like this style and the one next to it. I like that. And they do have a solid blue. And look at this one. This one's pretty thick. I don't want to pull it out because if I pull it out, you know, everything will just like come out. Oh, look at all that yellow. Cynthia Rowley's going to be 20. Let me see this one right here. That one's kind of cool looking. Like for your home on the inside. Can't really get it out. Let's see. This one is going to be $20. The Colorful Africa, they're asking for $18 on clearance. $20 by throw. What's... That one's $15. I've seen this one before. It is going to be $60 and you only get one. And look, that is going to be the brand for you. They do have Tommy, single Tommy. Wow, I wonder how much a uh, 20. So a single one would be 20. $22, a really cute elephant one. It does have hot pink tassels at the bottom and top. The shell one is gonna be 20, same price. I feel like the majority of them might be 20. Oh, it's gonna keep falling. <laughs> $30. Look at that one. It kind of looks like paper. You know how if you're making a snowflake or something. That's what that reminds me of. $150. Alright, I am liking that. If you do buy them, you need, I think you need four maybe, depending on where you're putting it. Look how huge. It is only $40 on clearance. I made it into the clearance department. Uh, this one is going to be $18. I think this Tahari home one is going to be seven. I kind of do like it, but it's not the marbled. <laughs> and look at this planter. Really cute. You can hang that for only $10. Wow. I never really get a chance to check out their clearance. Uh, this one is $6. Oh, poop bags. <laughs> you need poop bags for your dog. You have it in pink. I do see a bunny, but it looks like it's missing something in the middle. You might want to clean that up. Look at this beauty right here in the clearance department. I had to move it by Rachel Zoe. It is, yeah, it's very heavy and it's very good quality. I want to say it is worth uh, twelve dollars. It was twenty five. Yeah, that's at least worth the twenty five of the first one because that, that's a pretty good thing. They actually have a lot of this on clearance right now, so hopefully you could find it. They also offer it in this style right here. It's going to be a little different. I mean, 12 bucks, guys. Come and find one. They do have a mirrored box. This chest piece right here is totally busted. $50. Okay. That's the clearance price. And the original price was $70. i am pulling things down. Hopefully something does not fall. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Like the fish, right? 22 but look at this one can i bring it down look at that it's kind of cool looking keep it in a center of your coffee table or something i like how it buckles right here very different it is only going to be 18 dollars okay this one right here is only 18 dollars it is so heavy it feels like maybe a 10 pound weight and they do have a green and black one. I'm gonna put that back carefully. Um, okay, what else do they have in here? Oh, look, oh, that's broken right there. 
Okay, I'm not going to pull that one out. $15, okay. I don't know what this is, but it's going to be $15. <laughs> and I was trying to get to this one right here that looks like a giraffe print, right? Here we go. It is going to be mere $10, okay. Oh, look at that one for your food. Cover up your food, right? We don't want flies. My son, is, oh my gosh. If you see a fly, my son goes crazy because he's like, all they do is poop when they land. Like he tells me all of these funky facts. <laughs> $3 right here. It is plastic. Pretty cool looking, huh? Oh, look, we got a whale. You get four for seven. Oh, they do have it in blue. You can find cups like this in Walmart. Don't forget, $3 here. It's going to be by Tommy Bahama for $10. Look how colorful, okay? Very good for the summer. $3 for the little one. And the tall one will be 4 I hope all of you guys had a great week. I mean, spring break is coming up. Look at that one. Margarita time for me. $3. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't have any plans, actually. Uh, do you guys have any plans for spring break? Uh, Cynthia Raleigh. Cactus friend. <laughs> $5. I've just been very busy with work. But I do get a week off. And then we have testing. So a lot of volunteering during the testing time. Three dollars. Look at this print. Oh, you get four. Okay. Oh no. Let me see if I can grab it. It's gonna be eight dollars. So let me see the print. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was kind of stuck there. Very colorful. Cynthia Rally is gonna be five. Like a lemon, and then like a lime, orange, pink. It's kind of cute. Reason why I do a lot of volunteering during testing time is somebody asked me that kind of in the comment section is because my son, my son has you know ADD, ADHD. They put it together now, and he has always struggled with taking tests. He takes longer than your average kid, and I noticed for kids who need extra time. Sometimes they don't give them the time or they make them come back to take a test, uh, $6. And by coming back, you're missing work time, classroom time, and you're just falling behind. Always advocate for him because I notice he has to work harder than your average person. So kids who have like ADD, ADHD, they, they work very hard. Even to get a B or an A, I mean, I see how it goes. $8 here, and the struggle is real. Trust me, I've been through it all. <laughs> been through ups and downs, crying moments, IEP meetings, you know, when they're younger. Uh, my first IEP meeting, actually, I didn't really understand it, but I was kind of mad because the first thing the lady told me was, get your kid on medication. Six dollars right here, Nicole Miller. The way she made it seem was he was a bad kid and needed to be put on medication, like the first, like seriously. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and you know, I was young, so I did research. I read my brains out. I cried my brains out. Um, I don't know why I cried, but it was just weird. And um, okay, look at this one. That one's kind of cute. They got a lot of cute things here. Ten dollars. Sometimes it takes quite a while to get your kid evaluated. You can't just make an appointment for the next day. You know, there's a waiting list. <laughs> but this was like in second grade. And anyway, long story short, I did all my research. I didn't agree what the lady was telling me when he was first diagnosed. The school psychologist. And I was kind of doing my own thing. I did the natural route with him. Look at that. <laughs> Six dollars. How funny. Well, everything, I was against medicine myself. You know, because I was reading all the mommy blogs and stuff like that. You know, Googling. Not your best friend, right? And 
it didn't really work because my son is more um, attention like he cannot focus his mind is everywhere and he tells me so it was it's sad when you hear your teenager when they were like 13 how they feel like they're stupid but they're not stupid he does the work and he does so good it blows my mind and his writing is so creative he's great at writing but to him he feels stupid and that's what hurts me as a parent you know so i didn't like crying <laughs> so I'm blabbing I'm so sorry um that is why I volunteer a lot of my time during testing month so I make sure he could take the test in the time that he needs you know and all the other children who do take uh, the test towards the end of the year look at that mermaid every time I see a stroller here it's just so funny because it is for a doggy <laughs> doggy stroller look at that one on top so there's that question for somebody who asked me even though i did answer in the comment section you know oh let's see here oh also i do not get paid to make these videos the only time i get paid is through youtube revenue that is it um people ask me sometimes i wonder if <laughs> people are trying to be like low-key rude you know uh 17 dollars right here i don't have links I don't have promo codes. I don't put a GoFundMe or PayPal or Patreon on my page. So no, strictly YouTube only. So there you go. I mean, shoot, I wish. I wish I got paid every time I said Steve Madden. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. And you know, we never, we never get chosen to get those uh, store gift cards either. No. Like all those other ones do. It's like, oh, no, it's $15. I mean, I would like JCPenney to hit me up because I actually buy there, you yeah, know. I buy all my shirts there. My husband shops there for his <laughs> stuff. I see them give other people stuff, you know, but I notice those people only show JCPenney every once year because they got a sponsorship you know it's like it is what it is it is how youtube works also i don't show my face i'm a private person so i feel like you know that goes against me but you know what it's okay because i'm private so a lot of cute boxes right here look at this one with the cherry and unicorn i need to come back to this i was too busy talking instead of showing you know what happens ten dollars very cute now right here is all going to be Tommy Bahama. Uh, look at the dinosaur little stool and that doggy one. Time out chair. Oh my gosh. Look at the elephant. How cute. Cute towels for $8 here. Kid towels. Oh look at the one with the shark. And look at this watermelon one. We have Aloha. Oh those are really cute. Oh I like the flamingo one. more margarita time they got blue and they do have pink right on top and i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here thank you so much for hanging out with me you guys i know i was yappy but i will show more of the store and home decor thank you so much and i will see you in the next video oh look at all those cat posts have you seen that episode of malcolm in the middle where the dad made like a whole bunch to sell and i think they weren't selling and so he had them in his front yard and all the cats in the neighborhood were there how funny